Wildlife photography always seems like such a glorious job. You feel the wind of these thousands of wings in your hair. It changes the quality of light because sun doesn't shine the same way through winged bodies. If you stand up, they will hit you. It smells. You get peed on. Hmm. I guess no job is perfect. That's bat biologist. My name is Nikolai Christov. And he describes himself as the naturalist of the 21st century. No, but seriously, you'll soon see why. Christoph studies bats, often by filming them in new ways. This is high-speed video of Brazilian free-tailed bats coming out of a cave in south-central Texas. We have the camera placed in the middle of what looks like a stream of emerging bats. Several thousand bats per minute just pouring out of this cave. And that's just a fraction of the colony. Between 200 and 500,000 individuals live in that cave, Christoph says. And that's on the small side for a typical free-tailed bat colony. The free-tailed bats that Christoph studies, and by the way, this is one in a flight lab, winter in South America and Mexico, and then from March to October, move to caves in the Southwest. They come out every night, generally around sunset. They're heading out for dinner. And when you watch them spread out over the horizon... You can completely forget that it's made of individual bats. It looks like a superorganism that kind of snakes through the air above the landscape. But if you slow down the footage and you're recording at a thousand frames per second, you can study them as individuals. We used to uh, assume that bats don't really bump into each other. And through high-speed video, we know that that is actually not the case. But what about life in the roost? Very little actually has been done to understand what exactly goes on once the lights in the cave get turned off. How do you film with the lights off? We took the portable thermal cameras inside Carlsbad uh, cavern. That orange swath of lava is actually... A carpet of bats draped from the ceiling. And if you thought bats slept during the day... They certainly must rest, but there's always something happening. Bats are moving, there are territorial disputes. It's a very social and active species. And going into the cave is yet another uh, experience, one that... I often refer to as one of the most disgusting and at the same time fascinating experiences in my life. Disgusting because? You're walking on a 10 meter carpet of bat poop. Fascinating because? It is like a cathedral of nature. What about the architecture of that cathedral? Christoph has a tool for that too. What you see is um, our most recent uh, attempt to capture the morphological complexity of the cave. This is a 3D reconstruction of the interior of Carlsbad Caverns, made with a laser scanner that the researchers take inside the cave. And it basically beams millions and millions of laser beams and therefore distance reading events. So the cumulative result of that is literally a point cloud. Which is compiled into a reconstruction you can fly through. Pretty much along the trajectory of what a returning bat would do in the morning before it heads back to the roost. This is Naturalism 2.0, Christoph says. Think of Darwin and the other naturalists of the 19th and 20th centuries. The image that we have of them is that they just kind of walked around and took meticulous notes and did amazing things. And I think a hundred years later, there is still a lot of room for this very basic approach to the natural science specifically and nature. And I like to go at it with the help of technology. And the classic naturalist notebook? Here it is, translated for 2012. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.